Charleston Comorbidity, Comorbidity 2, Tutorial 29, A Measure of Sickliness. For those interested in understanding how to use cohorts to analyze the quality of health care provided, please read Riddles in Accountable Health Care by Aron Bellin, available through Amazon, either as paperback or in Kindle. In their previous lecture, we introduced the notion of a smart report. A report whose primary function was to produce well-formatted data to enable a specific task to be done very quickly. Now we'll introduce another potential use of the SMART report. This SMART report is going to help us understand how sick the population actually is. I'm going to left-click on SMART report, ad hoc report, and we're going to go to what is called comorbidity 2. I would suggest you read the section in the ad hoc manual on Charleston and on the Comorbidity 2 report. But in a nutshell, basically what it does is it takes all the diagnoses that the patient has had over a defined window of time and clusters them. And to each cluster assigns a weight and adds those weights up to establish a Charleston score, which basically summarizes how sick the patient actually is. If somebody has both a mild liver disease and an extreme liver disease over a course of time, the more extreme measure is the one that's chosen. It's a good way for evaluating how comparable two populations are at baseline. So we'll just do this very quickly. Again, you define your population very easily. We'll get the pneumonia females, the risk window. We're going we want to find out how sick those patients were who came into the hospital. So we actually want to know before the index date, 180 days, and we want to include inpatient visits, outpatient visits, emergency room visits, any diagnosis used in any of those will generate a score in the Charleston score. The calculator can either come out as a spreadsheet or a CSV file. And I won't go into all the details. You can go into the manual for this, but you can either get the Charlson, you can get the Elixhauser, which is another clustering uh, algorithm. You can get a collection of laboratory tests, a collection of non-laboratory tests. And we'll run this report. We'll get it without identifiers. And every row will belong to an individual patient. Every patient will have a score the score that's called combined takes into consideration both the Charleston score based on diagnosis and the person's age. And you use that to compare the similarity of the two patient populations for comorbidity. As in every other looking glass report, you have a summary that tells you what the rules were that built this report. You have a breakdown of age, ethnicity, and now the different categories, myocardial infarction, congestive heart failure, zero, 01. Do they actually have any one of these? This one, for example, had mild liver disease in the 180 days beforehand. Also provides a count of ICD-9 counts, the Charleston score before age is entered into, the age-related risk, and then the combined score. And it is the combined score that we use to compare cohorts at baseline. The original Charleston actually even calculated a 10% estimated survival rate. In future versions of Looking Glass, Charleston will be available as a method.